Hello everyone and welcome. In this video we'll be discussing how the power plants of the Bloodhound SSC work. Now this vehicle not only attempts to break the land speed record, but also to break 1000 miles per hour. So how is it able to do that? Now there are two power plants on board which are providing thrust, a gas turbine and then a hybrid rocket. Now if you don't yet understand how gas turbines work, I will include a link in the video description. This gas turbine is the EJ200. It's out of a Eurofighter Typhoon jet. It's capable of producing 90 kilonewtons of thrust or about 20,000 pounds worth. And it's used for initial acceleration. So this gas turbine alone will take the Bloodhound SSC up to about 350 miles per hour before the hybrid fuel rockets fire. And then in combination, the two will power the Bloodhound to 1,000 miles per hour. Now I called it a hybrid fuel rocket because it uses a liquid oxidizer and a solid rubber fuel grain. Most rockets will either use a solid fuel and oxidizer or a liquid fuel and liquid oxidizer whereas this one is using a liquid oxidizer and a solid fuel so it's kind of called a hybrid rocket. So how does this hybrid rocket work? Well up front we have an HTP tank or high test peroxide and this is storing 1000 kilograms of high strength hydrogen peroxide. This is going to be pumped to the rocket using a pump which is spinning at 10,000 rpm and this pump is capable of pumping the full 1,000 kilograms within 20 seconds. This pump is spun by a supercharged Jaguar V8 producing 542 horsepower and there's a gear ratio between the pump and the Jaguar V8 of 1.7 to 1 so that the Jaguar V8 isn't spinning at 10,000 RPM. Now that pump then sends the hydrogen peroxide to the catalyst which is at the start of the rocket. Now the catalyst is a nickel silver mesh and it's very rough so that it has a high surface area and so that's so that you can have this reaction occur really well where you're going to be decomposing the hydrogen peroxide to both water and oxygen. Now this rough surface is actually kind of polished as that flow uh, passes through so quickly so it's important that it's very rough from the start so that you can continue that reaction for the 20 seconds that you're going to be flowing through at this very high rate. So as I mentioned you're going to be decomposing two hydrogen peroxide molecules to two H2O molecules and then one O2 and then you'll also be generating heat. So you're going to be turning this from a liquid into a gas plus heat and that heat is actually what starts combustion within this rocket. So you have a solid rubber fuel grain and you have heat and you have oxygen. So you have the three things that you need. Combustion starts and actually the way that you start it is a little bit of oxidizer is preheated, uh, not the full flow rate travels through and then you start to heat up the rocket and then you go with the full flow rate and then uh, combustion will occur and then you'll start producing useful thrust. So this Nemo rocket, uh, not the actual size, it's actually quite a bit smaller. It'll be like this in comparison to the gas turbine. And for the final run, they're looking at using three of these rockets uh, in the rear of the vehicle to accelerate to 1,000 miles per hour. And the combined thrust of those rockets should be 120 kilonewtons or about 27,000 pounds. So some quick facts, uh, it'll be able to accelerate from zero to a thousand miles per hour in under 60 seconds, which is pretty unreal. And it will be producing a combined thrust of 210 kilonewtons, which is about the equivalent to 135,000 horsepower, which is pretty insane. So if you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them below. And I will be having a few additional videos coming up on the Bloodhound SSC. Thanks for watching.